There's a reason why we call this the building a musical school kit rather than the starting a musical school kit. Getting a whole school music program started is a whole school initiative. It has to start with a vision. From how you are going to communicate with your school community to how are you going to measure your success. You can see a lot of this at Chalice in the Don't Stop the Music series. From the new partnerships that were made with Music Aviva and Just Brass through to the many challenges that Lee Musumechi, the principal, needed to deal with. It was a big learning experience for the school teachers. And as they learned how to teach music, they actually became students again. Music education is a big commitment, but it can have a really big reward. It actually starts with you and your reasons for why you want to start a music program or expand the one you've got. I've worked with a lot of school leaders and principals, and so often they're just looking at one outcome, having a school band or a choir to perform on assembly. While performing is an absolutely integral part of music education, it's actually in the noisy, messy, squealy part of rehearsals where the real learning happens for students. It's during that learning process that students are actually developing their impulse control, they're honing their executive functions and they're practicing key social skills. And if you've embarked on this journey, you're probably starting to understand the very real developmental, cognitive and educational benefits of a high quality music education. If that's where you are, then we think you'll get a lot out of the Building a Musical School Kit.